that. So what you want to do is you just want to go into a YouTube account uh, and then you just want to go to YouTube Studio. Open up YouTube Studio. And this is for PC. This is not for uh, for your mobile devices. It's basically for your, for your desktop, basically. Okay, Mac or PC. Uh, and then you want to just run over here, the side over here to, to your left to go to Analytics. Hit on Analytics and now you can see here to all your Analytics, Analytics, Analytics are right here. Go to Advanced Mode right on top here, top right. Click on Advanced Mode and this opens up another window. So what this does here, you can kind of drill down exactly what's going on. You can really see everything really clearly what's happening with your channel. You want to know how it's doing? Just give yourself a, you know, a periodic, you know, well checkup, let's say. Um, and don't be concerned if you're losing and gaining subscribers all the time. You know, some people can get really caught up with that whole, oh, I lost 20 subscribers and I gained 50. Oh my God, you know, don't worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing and you will lose some and you'll gain some basically. And, and it's just, that's the name of the game. So what you want to do here is just go down to the video, the views right over here. And I'll show you here. Views by video, hit that drop down and then more metrics. So what this does here is just gives you more in-depth information. So let's just look at subscribers, okay? So that's a really big deal. A lot of people are really interested and they're really nervous about subscribe subscribers gained and lost. So this is a really easy way of doing it. So let's go subscribers gained. And now let's look at this here. So last 28 days, okay? So now get so that's only for 28 days. And you can see here, subscribers gained in the last 28 days is 209. So you can see that really clearly, right? So what you want to do, it's okay. So I want to just compare subscribers gained and so to subscribers lost. You just want to see like how your channel is kind of doing overall. So what you want to do is hit the plus button. When you hit the plus button, it opens up the window again. You can see it right here. And now we just did the subscribers gain. Let's click on subscribers lost. So what this is going to do is basically open up and you're going to see subscribers lost, subscribers gained. But, you know, I'm trying to say <clears throat> digital information or your stats uh, for your subscribers. So I gained in 28 days 209 subscribers but lost 38. And sometimes I'll lose five. Sometimes I'll gain 250. Sometimes I'll lose none. Sometimes. I'll, so it all depends on um, what they're watching your content, what you're putting out there. My channel is very sporadic. So um, I have, I'm not really a, a niche. I don't, I don't drill down to a specific topic. I'd like to be a little bit all over the place. So I will lose people and I will gain some. Um, so I'm going for the long play. Uh, so over time, I will gain more than I will lose. A lot of people will just focus on, you know, a specific niche and then drill down and they'll get only so many subscribers because they work on a specific item only and they kind of plateau um, so I'm hoping with my my business model and my idea is to really go really wide and have a lot of little uh, I don't know a little leave I don't know how to explain it but you know a lot of hooks in, in the sea uh, and hopefully I'll catch more fish I guess I don't know instead of just catching the one fish all the time I gotta catch a lot of little fish I'm, I guess that's how I'm looking at it so I just want to make this quick video so you can see how to use your metrics and you can do this for all kinds of stuff you can really drill down to everything hit the plus sign again and say you want to know likes and dislikes so click on likes and on a plus sign again and then hit on dislikes so now you can drill down now you can see your likes and dislikes okay so likes 697 likes 81 dislikes Okay, gain subscribers, 209. So you can see what I'm talking about here. So you can just keep loading this in over and over and you can do this for seven days. You can go over to the right over here and you can see, okay, I wanna know the last seven days only. That's all I care about, the last seven days. So in seven days, 169 likes, 20 dislikes, 51 gain, um, subscribers gain, and 15 subscribers lost. So I just want to make this quick tutorial. A lot of people keep asking me about analytics. I'm going to be doing some more analytic videos in the future. So really drill down and give you some advice and give you some my feedback uh, and my small experience on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for a long time, but really getting real serious the last year. So if you're enjoying this content, please give me a like. If you're enjoying this um, this tutorial, just give you, I just want to make it too long. I just want to get drilled down exactly how to do this and exactly how to find more analytics a lot of people get confused there's a lot of things going on up top here on top and a lot of things but if you really just know where to look and just just pinpoint it you can find this stuff really really easy okay and then you can drill down if you're monetized you can see how much earnings i've done 114 dollars in the last seven days um impressions 110 thousand impressions 7.7 .7 is an average which is pretty decent um, anything from from two to ten, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's, it's decent, and you can go higher depending on the niche. And if it's a hot video, if it's a uh, trending, things like that. That there's all variation uh, to that. But we'll drill into that in the future. So don't forget to, to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel, and then you'll be notified um, when you see other video tutorials on 
uh, YouTube, growing your YouTube channel. So I hope I brought some insight to you. I hope I brought some, 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 gave you some knowledge about learning about uh, learning about analytics on YouTube and growing your channel. I'd be glad to help you. If you have any questions or comments, leave down below in the comment box. I respond to all comments, so I will get back to you. If you need any help, if you need any guidance, if you need any help with your thumbnails, I'm here to help you. We're all here as a community to grow our channel together. There is no one person at all on YouTube. It's everybody and everybody helps everybody. And that's what makes YouTube awesome. Okay, guys, I appreciate your time as always, and I'll see you at the next review.